the big box maiden hurdle is next. This is two and three quarter miles this time. And the top one is Arabian Spirit for Darren Thompson. Hamari Largo for Hems. Park Roller for Alex Cherry. Pride of Zorro, Paul Rhodes. Saddlers for James Shea. Dreams of Steel, Leon Van Rensburg. Flaky Dufcott for Pontypool Racing. That's Graham Clutterbuck. Not twice, Vinnie Gerard. Napari for Paul Fisk. And Poppy Elise for Martin Leedham. So Napa Piri G, I think that one's called. Cool. <laughs> anyway, away they go. We'll pick it up as we get along and once again Paul Rhodes horse is in the wrong colours according to the graphic on the corner so I don't know look into that and find out what's going on there but Poppy Elise is the early leader the colours that the jockey's actually wearing are the right colours for Paul Rhodes' horses I don't quite know why they're showing up as pink in that little graphic up the top there but they're all over the first anyway and that was the first of 14 so they've got 13 more to take and then over the second Poppy Elise is the leader by about three lengths and got on quite nicely. Or we'll knock twice and park roll up. Then Saddler's four and Pride of Zorro on the inside. With Napa Pidri after that one. It's funny how some names you just can't quite get your tongue around them and they don't look that difficult when they're written down. This conversation with some of the other commentators, Stug and Do. Doug and Stug and Dave. <laughs> Still and Doug. Last season and the season before, and just some names don't roll off the tongue rhythmically very well. There's others that you wouldn't think do do. Anyway, I'm sure you know what I mean. Maybe. They're over that one anyway. And Poppy Elise is the leader. Saddler's four is second. Then Pride of Zorro and Hamari Largo. Knock Tyson Dreams of Steel. Park Roller is after that one. Then Flaky Dovecott after that one. And Arabian Spirit and Napa Paridri is next so racing down towards the fifth then is Poppy Elise taking them along in a rain oh, that one they go bit of a slow jump by Park Roller seeing that one drop to the back but Poppy Elise continues to show the way well, brutally honest that Poppy Elise in the lead is mine it's a three mile chaser really not that many three mile chases this week so Took it into this to get a hurdles mark, so probably going to get out pace towards the finish. But I'm surprisingly setting the pace at this stage, which is not what I would have expected. But I'm pleasantly surprised if she manages to stay there till the end. Amiri Largo is second. Flaky Dovecott is third. As they take the next. Saddler's four has now just about been relegated to the back, so they come past the stand then, and past the winning post, and they go around for one more circuit, and Poppy Elite is the leader. Flaky Dovecott is second, and then Hamari Largo is third, then Park Roller is four, Arabian Spirit is five, and Pride Zoro is six, Napa Pidri is after that one, and then Knock Twice, and Dreams of Steel, and finally Saddler's four at the back. Poppy Elite then in the lead all the way so far. The orange jacket from Hamari Largo. Look at that part roller. Part roller made a mistake and dropped right back to last a few flights ago and is now back up into second. So over the eighth they go. And they are pretty tightly packed at this stage. This is probably the most competitive race we've seen so far as they take the ninth end and they're all over that one okay. And there's probably only about eight lengths between the leader Poppy Elise and Napa Pidri is the back marker. So he wouldn't rule anything out just yet. Part roll up has now got its head in front. Poppy Elise has got the inside though. Then Dreams of Steel on the outside. Hamari Largo, Pride of Zorro is still there. And Flaky Duffcott also there as well. And Saddler's four and Napa Pidri not twice and finally Arabian Spirit. Now over the tenth and Poppy Elise continues to lead. Dreams of Steel on the outside. Part roll a third. Pride of Zorro four. Then Hamari. Largo in the red cap as they take the third from home, the uh, fourth from home, sorry. And Poppy Elise is in the lead from Dreams of Steel second. Hamari Logo, Saddler's four now trying to get into it. Park Roller is being scrubbed along again there. 
So too is Pride of Zorro. Napa Pidger is getting a nice run up the inside, but Dreams of Steel has taken it up. Dreams of Steel in the lead from Populist. Here comes Napa Pidgey on the inside as Nash switches between those two and has come through to take the lead. It's Napa Pidgey in front there with three to take. This is the third last. Napa Pidgey and Dreams of Steel. They're clear of Hamari Lago in third. Populist is dropping away. It's Dreams of Steel in the lead on the outside of Napa Pidgey. Come down towards the second flight. Second last flight. It's Dreams of Steel on the inside. Napa Pidgey on the outside. These two are four lengths clear of Hamari Lago and Flaky Duff got their race down towards the final flight in this big box maiden and it's Dreams of Steel in the lead Napa Pidri is second Hamari Lago and Sadler's four trying to run on but it's Dreams of Steel on the inside Dreams of Steel is about three quarters of a length clear coming down towards the final flight it's Dreams of Steel from Napa Pidri snugly between these two over the final flight they go Dreams of Steel jumps in much better Napa Pidri a little bit slower up towards the line Dreams of Steel takes this one quite cosily in the end Napa Pidri is second in Hamari Lolo and Sattler's four and Flaky Duff got an impart roller not twice Pride of Zorro popularly dropped away and Arabian Spirit was probably the last one to finish but it's a win for Dreams of Steel Napa Pidri second that ran a really interesting race and Hamari Lago was third so Dreams of Steel for Leon Van Rijkberg Leon Van Rensburg gets the win and I don't think many of us thought it would take until race 10 for Leon to pick up his first win of the season after the way he performed in the trial so Dreams are still for Leon Van Rensburg because they win a Napa Pidgey for Paul Fisk is second Hamari Largo for him is third Sadler's four for James Shea was fourth and Flaky Duff got four Graham Clutterbuck was fifth